to kiss your partner like <laughs> now imagine closing your eyes and opening your eyes only to see your partner doing this <laughs> what are you gonna do <laughs> you can tell me in the comment section <laughs> now guys um kissing is something that um i love doing a lot like i derive so much pleasure in kissing like kissing is part of my love language and i'm sure there are people out there that kissing is also part of their love language like without kissing i'm not sure like um they can be able to initiate um love making like kissing for them is something that leads them to doing the main thing okay because to me i believe that most of um the enjoyable or fun part or you know mind-blowing um love making that you have from your partner starts with kissing and then foreplay and then it has the main the main one you know that ends in the inner room you know what i mean okay so <laughs> that is why i feel so you know good shooting this video because this is something i enjoy doing so much and i'm gonna share with you guys my tips on how i kiss my partner and how he likes to be kissed because he usually tells me that wow you're a good kisser because you know i know the game right you know you know <laughs> anyway that's uh by the way so guys we're gonna be talking about few tips and how to kiss your partner i'm gonna be showing you guys the practical aspect you know i always like doing the practical aspect okay but the first thing you should know about kissing is if you watch my lips it looks you know moisturized it doesn't look dry and cracky so if you want to kiss your partner at least your lips have to be very attractive for the person to kiss i mean if you come to me with a cracked up lips dry and not attractive like i'm gonna be like what are you doing please go and put something on your lips so your lips needs to be very moisturized and tempting so that when the person is looking at it like he's gonna be like or she's gonna be like that lips look so good i just want to grab it and kiss it oh, 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 oh no <laughs> so yeah guys your lips needs to be very moisturized wet like you know very tempting and kissy like no very kissable that is for number one number two and if someone wants to kiss you you have to have a nice breath i know sometimes we might not be that confident in our breath especially if you eat something like some kind of food that might not really be please like give your breath a little bit kind of like unpleasant smell foods like when you eat onion ginger garlic you know those kind of food can actually give your mouth or your breath a very foul smell so if you want to kiss someone make sure your breath smells good at least when you're kissing the person the person's not gonna be feeling kind of like this like, let me use that word sorry for using that word just but you have to have a nice breath at least so that when the person is kissing you he's going to be like kissing you like he's taking all your soul in like so clean on all your soul like oh, you smell good you know smelling good can actually attract someone like there's a way that my partner is gonna be smelling so good like i, I my whole body is gonna be shaking like oh my god now when i wanna and i wanna kiss your lips and i and i smell your breath and you and your breath smells so good like i'm going to hold you like this never letting you go you go nowhere darling you go nowhere baby okay <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is that if you want to kiss your partner, try to make sure that your breath smells good. You can brush your feet. Like if you know that you want to kiss this person at this particular time, let, let's say you have a visitor and the person is and the visitor is like your crush or someone like you're trying to make a move on. You can make sure you brush your feet immediately. Now you can buy sweets that like all this mint and put in your mouth. At least mint can make your your breath smell good because when the person is smelling your breath, he's gonna be perceiving the uh, mint okay you put some mint in your mouth and then you can you know start kissing the person now the third thing is you need to be very confident 
stop showing any sign of nervousness like you know when you want to kiss someone especially for a guy you're like <laughs> what's that be confident darling okay you have to show that you're confident and how do you show that you need to show that by looking at the person like in the eye you know not like you know person in a very sexy sensual way that's going to make the person feel like oh no oh i'm shivering okay <laughs> so you have to show that you're confident when you want to kiss someone even if you're a girl or you're a boy if you're a girl and you want to initiate the, the kissing then try and show that you're confident but do it in a very feminine sex okay you know girls you need to show your femininity like your feminine attribute you need to make use of it at the right time okay okay so yeah i've already talked about having a nice breath making sure that you're confident and also make sure that your lips looks good before kissing now let's get to the practical aspect of kissing your partner now if you're a guy and you want to kiss your girl now there are some few things that can actually make her beg you or even make her grab you like this boom even before you start the kissing now this is what i mean you have need to understand the girl that you're about to kiss. Sometimes it's good. Um, some people do say they actually get their consent. Like you can say it in a very like you're kind of like they're to talking her, you know, or teasing her, you know, using words. You can be like, your lips look so good. Like, I just want to bite it off. Something like that. You can just tell the girl that, okay? Like you're getting her consent. So when you say that, you know girls now, when you tell a girl like, as I'm looking at your lips, I just feel like biting everything. She already she'll be like, stop that. <laughs> stop that. I don't like that. Or she'll be like, <laughs> but some girls that are confident to be like, so what are you waiting for? And you guys will start screaming. <laughs> but sometimes I like it to be like a surprise. I don't like um when you tell me you wanna kiss me. Just do it. Just do the damn thing, okay? And put me in the mood, okay? Don't tell me when you tell me you're spoiling the surprise for me. So it depends on the girl, like I said. If it's something you're if it's someone that you're making a move on, you can ask for her consent or you can ask for his consent. Now, there should be a mutual connection between you two. Don't just kiss someone that you, I mean, I can't I can't imagine myself kissing someone I don't have feelings for or someone I don't feel kind of like that deep connection with. It's not gonna make sense. Like I'm not even I'm not even gonna feel anything like when you're kissing me. It's just gonna be like, oh, but if someone I have deep connection with, like, damn, I'm going to grab you like this. Oh, God. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> okay? So it, it should be someone you have deep connection with, someone you have a mutual connection with. That way, it's going to be the best kiss of your life. Okay? <coughs> Sorry for that. We all love that, you know, passionate kiss that, you know, makes your heart jump with so much joy and you know we have the smoosh we have the french kiss the one you have to use your tongue like okay and we have the peck you know the one you just have to be like <laughs> so we all have different types of kiss that we enjoy doing with our partner so you need to know the one you love most and use what i'm gonna teach you to practice okay it's gonna be the best kiss of your life okay now like i was saying if you're a guy you want to kiss a girl now even if the girl has a long hair or a short hair make sure to always flip the hair it turns women on okay don't just start kissing Ugh. make sure you always flip the hair you can flip it behind her ears or you can just flip it like this now do it gently don't do it like i just did okay you have to be gentle like flip it okay now this is the first move now the second move is make sure you hold her by the neck and push her like closer like closer to you okay first of all remember flip her hair now use your hand on her shoulder and i don't mean push her like this oh just push her a little bit or as you flip her hair you can just touch her hair or like her shoulders like when you flip it you kind of grab the shoulders like you're tightening your muscle a little bit there not like grab it like this like just 
a little bit soft but manly when you must have like squeezed it a little bit or you can just touch the head okay like slowly like you're just you know trying to caress her hair now remember to always maintain eye contact okay as you're looking at her now the angles are very important now let's say this is the lips okay i'm the girl you're the guy okay but yeah you know i'm the one doing it so i'm just going to try to be doing the girl and the guy okay so remember like i said when you must have flipped her hair touch her head and you know drawn her closer to you you're looking straight into her eyes okay this is going to show her that you're confident in what you're doing you're not you're not showing any sign of weakness or nervousness okay that can be like a turn off for you for your woman okay now as you're maintaining eye contact like i said angle is very important so if you're drawing her head and it's going down you have to go for her upper lips okay but if you're drawing her head and it's going up you have to you know target her lower lips okay okay let's start now watch my lips i'm going to use my tongue this is the down lips and this is the upper lip bring out your tongue and then okay as you're bringing it out make sure that the lips always like lingers on the lip of the, your partner like this is what i mean when you're about to take the lips out do something like this like this okay let it linger and then when you're taking the upper lip use your tongue to penetrate the middle of the your partner's um, mouth then use your tongue like i said and then okay so yeah always remember to move your head like right and left you know as you're feeling the moment as you guys are feeling yourself like okay now remember like i said angle is very important so let's just say that you drew her head to lean forward and as you're coming closer her head is going down now remember as her head is down you you have to focus on the, the upper lips why should she focus on the down lips now this is what you can this is where all the magic happens now before you get to where the part where you have to kiss her like i said maintain eye contact now when your lips are getting closer like they're getting like few inches before they hit you know they touch uh together remember you're looking at her now focus your attention now on the lips like let, let's say this is the lips and it's getting closer like you you pushed her head and then you're leaning forward the lips are like few inches away now stop looking at her, at her eyes look down on her lips now when the lips are now close enough like for you to grab her lips look at her eyes once like once more before you close your eyes and then and as you draw back look back at her like immediately you're drawing back and you open your eyes your eyes should go back like looking at her what you're trying to do is like you're reading her countenance you're reading her reaction to see what her countenance is saying like what she's feeling okay then you stop okay now another thing you can do is once you have flipped her hair and you can start by holding her chin like you you're holding her chin is an is also a very good way to start up a kiss like hold her chin like you can use any hand just and draw her close okay or you can hold her by the neck while you kiss her or the chin okay either way the chin or the shoulders both are good okay but like remember what i said make sure you maintain eye contact as you're getting closer look focus on the lips that you're about to kiss okay and for a lady if your man is about to kiss you try to patch your lips like this or you bite it like as the lips is coming closer to you you can or you pat it together like you're waiting for the kiss to come okay this is a very sexy way and it can even make the man grab you now for the guys like i said when you're looking at her now focus on the lips when the lips are very close to you like just few inches away 
Now you look back, stare back into her eyes, look down the lips and then close your eyes before the lips touch. And remember, if the angle is very, very important. If the head is her, her head is down, now you have to go for the upper lips. Why she should go for the down lips? But if her head is up, like you you're holding her chin and her head is up, that means you have to go for the lower lower lips. Why she goes for the upper lips? Okay, very important. So yeah, this is a skill that you need to learn. Should I call it a skill? Everybody can kiss, but not everybody can you know make it all juicy and fun. Some people love using tongue, like the one I said, you know, the one I talked about, the French kiss. So if you like using tongue, then good and fine, but don't use a lot of saliva. It's kind of like, um, you know, especially the early morning kiss when you guys have not brushed. So if you want to use your tongue, don't use a lot of saliva. Just use your tongue to caress the upper and lower lips. Okay, that is the secret, okay? So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tips I shared. And if you did... Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, okay? See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.